Okay, um, for Windows to go, you have to be using the Enterprise Edition of Windows 8, and you have to have a 32 gigabyte um, stick. Now, I picked this one up, however, it's not the right type of hardware, and it did not work. So I guess I'll be using this for backup and throw it in my fire safe, um, which is a good idea anyway. So I've emptied off my external hard drive here. I'm going to install the Windows to go. And we can either go this route, hit start, and hit Windows Q, and we're going to um, put, uh, go into the control panel. There it is. Yes, right there. And you go up here and you um, search for Windows to go, and we see it down here. So we click on that, say yes. J is the passport, my external hard drive that I sometimes carry around. So we're going to... Apparently it's going to work because um, when I had the little PNY um, 32 gig gigabyte stick in there, it came right up and said that it was not the proper hardware type. So I really suggest that you go and check out, go to MSDN, go to the developer network, go up here, Windows to go, Windows to go, associated requirements. And this will test out whether or not the stick you have will work. Okay. Now let's go back to see what is going on. And it says to choose a Windows 8 image. Okay, I have an, uh, it says Windows 7, but it's actually a Windows 8 ISO file here on the on a USB stick I previously made. So I'm going to select that, and you see it is installing. Now, if I want to encrypt it, which probably should but I don't you know you can and you can also choose to encrypt only the used portion of your stick or in my in my um, case this external hard drive or to encrypt it all now if you have rewritten that stick a lot of times you might want to encrypt it all depending on how sensitive the data was so but we're going to skip this for now and it's, it reminds you that the USB stick will be reformatted and I have emptied that passport so we're good. Now I'm going to pause this because it says it might take a while. It has um, finished and it wants to choose a boot option. It says your Windows to go workspace has been created and that is on the external hard drive. Do you want to automatically boot from it when you restart your PC? And if let me, um, I'm going to say no because I have a backup running on my Terra drive, and I that is on a USB connection. So I'm going to say no, and we are going to s just save and close. So that's how easy it is to create a Windows to Go capable device. And anytime you can you can plug that into either a Windows 7 machine or a Windows 8 machine and it will um, it will run um, solely on that stick or in my case the external hard drive. Um, you, if you do go to Windows Explorer you will be able to see the other hard drives but they will say that they are offline. If you happen to unplug it um, everything will freeze for up to a minute. Um, and you have up to 60 seconds a minute to plug your stick back in. And like I said, it also has the options um, to be encrypted with BitLocker if you so choose. And that is one of my favorite features of Windows 8.